children a wonderful day uh, from myself jayashree your new english teacher how are you hope you are all safe at home how was your holidays was it nice i hope it was not very nice because of covid 19 the epidemic spreading throughout the world right you were not able to go out and play you were completely sitting at home but hope you did enjoy a lot with your fathers and mothers mobile phones and tv for a long time because nobody was there to restrict you because you were not able to go outside and play better than that they were permitting you to play with mobiles and tvs i think but it's not nice anyhow now i'm your new english teacher and let's go for the english text this is your english textbook look at the english text and we'll go for the first lesson that is when i was a child obviously this is about a childhood experience of a great person do you like your childhood may not be because many children feel that they wanted to be grown up every time most of the time people elder people will say a big no for all their interest isn't it when you want to buy a toffee mama will say no no your teeth will be bad when you want to play mobile games your papa will say no no your eyes will be spoiled actually those things will really make you fed up with this big nose why people are saying no for all these things so you may think that you want to grow up and to play enough mobile games want to eat as many toffees as possible that will be very nice no but elder people will always think in a reverse thing because they think that the childhood is the best time in their life why people are thinking so very simple they don't want to earn for their family they don't want to think about the food they want to serve for their family they don't want to think about a job for their future for their betterment the money they want to earn for their children all those things they don't want to think about when they are children so they think that childhood is the most beautiful time they can play as much as possible they can sleep as much as they want don't you do like that now let us go to a great memory by a great person mr r k lakshman and before starting the lesson please have a look at the lesson the beginning of the lesson you can see a small table here this this is for you to express your childhood memories your childhood memories which are not recent ones not for this year maybe for the past years maybe when you joined for the first standard second standard when you were enjoying the holidays on those days whenever you were having such beautiful memories think about those memories and mention them here the first column here is to state your age at which age you had those beautiful memories okay and the second one is to state which event or which experience you had and the third one is to state which place you were having at that moment and the people who were with you when you were in that event or moment okay please fill it minimum four experience must come here make sure that you are adding at least four events with the year and other details okay not the year but your age now let us go to the lesson and before starting the lesson do you remember the name rk lakshman have you heard about the name very rare that you might have heard the name but you might have heard the name rk narayan he is a famous writer hope you re remember the name have you learned any book of or story of rk narayan in the previous years malgudi days is a famous work by rk narayan and another one is swami and his friends those two books are really famous works done by rk narayan this is not a writing by rk narayan but his brother rk lakshman is writing about the childhood experience with his brother rk narayan how they have enjoyed their childhood that's what rk lakshman is coming to draw down with words in this lesson okay let's have a look at the lesson the first paragraph goes like this in our old house in mysore there was a window it had a glass pane divided into many parts each part had a different color one day the pane broke bits of colored glass tinkled down what's the meaning of pane here 
P-A-N-E, pain. A portion which is covered with a glass or wooden piece for all the windows. Isn't it? That's what is the meaning of the word pain. And tinkled, another new word, T-I-N-K-L-E-D. This is another new word. What is the meaning of that one? The sound of glass piece or something like that which falls down into the ground. Hope you remember that beautiful sound like a bell sound. That's what is the meaning of the word tinkled. Now let's come back to the content of the lesson. In our old house in Mysore, when the story happens, when he was enjoying his childhood, R.K. Lakshman was in Mysore and they were in their old house. It doesn't mean that the house is old for centuries. They might have changed into a new house. So this was their old house. That is the only meaning. Now when they were in their old house, he was having a beautiful window pane in his house. You know window pane. Okay? And that was having different, it was covered with the different pieces of glass with the different colors. For example, red colored piece was there on one corner. Another corner was having a green colored piece. And another corner was having a color blue also. Okay? Now, on one day, this window pane broke down. How will it break down actually? Have you ever made a window pane broke down? Maybe sometimes. Children are like that. Okay, listen here. When one day morning he could see the window pane broken down, he was really surprised to see it. He could hear the beautiful sound of glasses falling down. And a few pieces fall into his room also. What is the habit of children actually? They'll go into it and will try to pick the pieces. They never think that it will hurt them, it make wounds on them. They'll just want to enjoy. Same way, R.K. Lakshman also was a small child who really wanted to enjoy the surrounding. And he went there, he sat near the window pane and just started looking at the picture. What was there as a picture? Nothing was there as a picture, but he could see the surrounding reflected on the glass piece. That's what he was able to do. I ran to pick up those pieces. Our collection was so curious to take the window pale pieces. I looked at every color, one after another. He looked at each and every color. One was in green color, another was in blue color, and another was in red color. He was surprised to see all those pieces separated. And I saw a new world. It was strange, weird, frightening. What was strange and weird and frightening? When he happened to look through the glass, the scenery through the glass was really frightening, weird and strange. What is the meaning of weird actually? W-E-I-R-E-D Sorry, R-D Weird It's almost similar to strange actually Something unfamiliar for them That's the meaning of the word weird actually And then He could not digest the scene Which was seen through the glass piece Why he was not able to digest this Let us see Everything and everybody looked blue. What does it mean? Which means he was looking through the blue piece of glass. Isn't it? Otherwise, how can he see the things blue? If he could see the things green, it's obviously he was looking through the green glass. Now, he could see the things only as blue. It is very clear that he was looking through the blue glass. The blue gardener dug the blue earth. Nearby stood a blue cow, swishing its blue tail. Why the sun has turned blue on the sky? Now he was really surprised to see the sceneries outside the window which was getting reflected on the piece of glass. The blue piece of glass was reflecting all those sceneries. What all was there outside? What he could see outside? Yeah, the one thing was a gardener who was digging earth, digging the soil. Another one was a cow and even the sun also was there outside. But 
for his surprise or for his fear things were all seen in blue through the blue glass and it was not very happy for him it was really frightening for him even the sun the beautiful sun was looking blue only and the man who was digging the soil it was looking like the man was digging earth it it was also frightening for him and moreover the blue cow was swishing what is the meaning of swishing moving what is the spelling yes w i s h i n g swishing moving that's the meaning of the word actually please check the spelling also swishing meaning is clearly given in the text it's considered as a new word by the textbook authorities also make sure that you are checking the meaning with the textbook also okay now swishing its blue tail can you imagine a cow with a blue color can you imagine a cow with blue color i cannot imagine a cow with blue color i can imagine a cow with what we will say uh, black color white color or even uh, designs of black and white also we can see some other colors also but not blue or green i have never seen anything like that we cannot see such things here and anyhow while through looking through the blue glass the sky the gardener and even the cow was looking blue the little boy was really scared actually what will be your feeling seeing everything around you in blue color we'll also be confused isn't it rk lakshman also was really confused to see this what he will do next he have to take some other glass and to see through now let us see what he was doing everything was spooky and still it was really surprising or shocking not a positive experience it was really bad for him and i couldn't be or any more quickly i raised the green glass piece he was not able to su suffer all these blue colors the bright color that was really terrible for him so suddenly he took the green piece of glass then it was quite good for him thank god things became careful cheerful again the same gardener was shoveling away with a bucket by his side the cow turned friendly now listen when the boy started looking through the green glass piece the things are quite good actually the gardener was digging soil and he is taking it into a nearby bucket things are all moving calm and quiet the cow was also looking good now the things are quite happy for him okay a little bit before it was really surprisingly shocking not surprising actually frightening and shocking for the little boy but when he started looking at the green piece of glass it started to be positive and pleasant and what is the meaning of shoveling shoveling away the meaning is given here very clearly moving sowing soil with a shoveling equipment it's a what we will say a farming equipment actually which is used by the farmers and the gardeners and but i had to try out the red piece it struck terror into my heart the cow was ready to attack me the dog bared its teeth and the gardener was digging up skeleton under the neem tree red clouds gathered in a bloody sky the world was a scene of war and he was not ready to stop it for getting a piece he wanted to try it with another piece what else is there actually a red piece is again there isn't it now he started picking up the piece and looking through that piece it was really threatening for him the cow was ready to attack him and the gardener was digging a skeleton from under the neem tree what's a skeleton you know what's a skeleton body of sorry the shape of a man only having the bones without flesh and muscles that's what is a skeleton actually and it was only having that skeleton with it and it was being taken from under the neem tree you know neem tree is a medicinal plant it shows a positive energy and the skeleton shows a negative energy now the gardener was digging 
a negative energy from under a positive energy carrying tree. Those things were really passing negative energy to him and the dog was showing all its teeth like it was going to bite the boy. So towards the surrounding it was all like a war condition. Everything was horrible or frightening. It was not going to be nice at any cost. Bear its teeth, the meaning is given here. Please check the meaning. It was like what we will say, angry or threatening. When dogs are angry or when they feel like threatening, how will they show their teeth? That's what he could see through the red glass. The boy was not at all happy to see. Will you be happy with that scene? Yes, of course, we will not be happy with such frightening scenes. Now, but the boy wanted to see what is going to happen when, the, when he looks through the red glass. Even though he was happy to see the things afterwards. And around him, red clouds were coming, gathering the sky. Red clouds means we can expect a blood rain, isn't it? Those things were looking like the surrounding was that of a war field. And everything was sweating and trembling. I switched back to green. In a sudden, the boy was really unhappy and he took the green piece again. It's quite natural. We'll be feeling ourselves to be happy always. Do we want to be afraid always? No. The boy also, R.K. Lakshman also wanted to be happy and he just took the green piece and started looking through the green piece of the glass. At once things calmed down. It was a cool, pleasant day out in the garden at home where the breeze blew softly. Father and mother were out. I was free to play the whole evening. When he looked through the green glass, things were all quiet calm and peaceful. It was all going on well and outside through the window pane it was quite beautiful during that evening. Okay? And his parents were outside which means he was free enough to play as much as possible for that evening. Nobody was there to restrict him from playing. Please have a look at these portions. If there is any doubt you can call me when you are getting a telephonic session and please check the new words and note them down check the spellings very clearly hope we can go for the next part of this lesson let's go for page number 13 the next part okay as i remember it this was my first communication with my surroundings i loved looking through the broken glass pieces feeling different with each other color Perhaps this was an early sign of my interest in visual things, in drawing and painting that were to be my life. Now our Lakshman says, he remembers that this was his first communication with his surroundings. Till that time he had never experienced such a vision from different colored angles or from different corners, from view, different viewpoints to his surroundings. From the green glass it was quite peaceful and from the blue glass it was quite frightening and through the red glass it was quite threatening, isn't it? It was like a war field. So that different aspects when we are looking into different things, when according to our eyesight, not eyesight actually our vision what we are thinking in our mind according to that the things which we see also will be entirely different that he has remembered that such a difference of viewpoint is there he remembered that only when he has had such an experience of looking through that beautiful glasses and and he remembered one more thing different glass different colors will give different type of experiences in our life. Of course, he had different type of experiences when he had looked through three different classes, isn't it? If he had looked through many other colors, automatically his experiences also will be extremely different. Now he understood that point on that day and that was, he says himself that that was his first sign of 
his interest in visual things which means later when he became a famous cartoonist and illustrator he admits that this was his first moment of interest showing interest or experience towards drawings paintings which made his future life into a successful cartoonist and illustrator now there were not much difficult words in this paragraphs visual things means the things which are being visualized the meaning is given here very clearly things that you can see okay that's what is the meaning the spellings are not much difficult here please go through the words if there is any difficult word you can tell me i'll explain the words to you now let's go for the next paragraph when did i start drawing maybe at the age of 3 i started on the wall of course like any normal child parents were not parents were more tolerant in those days no one stopped me scribbling on the wall i drew with bits of burnt wood that i got from the hot water stove in the backyard what did i draw oh the usual things trees houses the sun behind the hill all those things when did i start drawing arke lakshman was asking himself actually he remembers that he started drawing maybe at the age of 3 or something like that and he started drawing with the same thing which we were also doing when we were small children not even chalk piece actually the black piece of wood the burned wood fire wood that was used to scribble on the wall have you ever drawn pictures like that i have drawn it when i was a child and i got it several times very badly from my mother also she was scolding me sometimes beating also but here rk lakshman's parents now were scolded him they were really happy they ag- agreed him to draw or scribble on the walls very clearly remember he was not telling that he was drawing but he was telling that he was scribbling he himself knew that he was not drawing beautiful pictures but he was trying to make his hands to draw those pictures and what all things he was drawing obviously the tree how will we draw the tree small children two lines will be there then this is a tree for a 3 year old child isn't it same way a house with some straight lines and then another one is a sun coming peeping through the hills coming up from the hill side all those pictures were the same like the normal children of his age there was no problem for his parents for him scribbling on the wall it was really nice they motivated him to be designing his career in those field do you think that our parents were demotivating us never actually they wanted the walls to be clean instead rk lakshman's parents never wanted their wall to be clean but they wanted their children to enjoy their life moreover they may not have enough time to run behind the children and make them get a beat from them and stop them from doing all those nonsenses that's also the i won't say that it's a nonsense as far as rk lakshman is concerned that was the beginning of his career and that motivation made him to be the world known famous cartoonist and illustrator now let us go for the next paragraph it was not at all a good student i was not at all a good student in the classroom the one time i got a pat on my back from the teacher was for one of my drawings we were all asked to draw a leaf each child scratched his head and wondered what a leaf leaf looked like one drew a banana leaf which became too big for the slate another drew a speck that couldn't be seen some just managed go bubbles when the teacher came to me he asked did you draw this by yourself i hesitated had i drew do, had i done wrong i know that dumbly and do you know the teacher actually broke into a smile he said i had done a very good job he saw great possibilities in that leaf 
I drew so long ago on a hot afternoon sitting in the dull classroom. I had seen that leaf on a purple tree which I passed each day on my way to school. Now listen, R.K. Lakshman agrees that he was not a bright student, he was not a very studious student in his class. But instead, he remembered one occasion where he got a pat from his teacher. What's the meaning of a pat? What is the spelling of a pat? P A T. What is the meaning of pat? Getting a congratulating touch on our shoulder or back. Have you ever got such a beautiful moment where a teacher giving you a pat on your shoulder? Maybe several times you, many of you got it for several reasons. Here R.K. Lakshman remembers only one occasion in his life which was giving him a beautiful pat from his teacher's hand and getting a beautiful appreciation from his teacher. What was that? It was when the children in the class was asked to draw a picture of a leaf. Most of them scratched their head and were started to thinking, what is the shape of a leaf? Nobody knew. Some, one boy started drawing a banana leaf and it was too big that his slate could not even contain the full leaf. And another one just started drawing with a small dot only that was not even seen clearly in the slate. Some others draw something which was not even shaped as a leaf also. Nobody could say that their drawings were a leaf. And while the teacher was moving slowly throughout the children, the teacher stopped very near to R.K. Lakshman and asked, did you draw this picture? R.K. Lakshman got really surprised. Is there anything wrong what I did? He was thinking about it and he simply nodded saying that it was drawn by me. But he was even thinking and confused what is wrong with my picture. But in a sudden, he could see the teacher turning into a beautiful smile. And the teacher patted on his shoulder telling that it was a very beautiful work done by R.K. Lakshman. Okay children, thank you for today. Please go with the lesson. And if you have any doubts, please clarify it. We'll come and see you tomorrow with the continuation of the next lesson. Any new words or any doubts, you can come to me during the telephonic session. Thank you and have a nice day.